Our next checkmate is called Domino's mate. In Domino's mate, we have a pawn on g6, which controls the f7 and h7 squares. We also have a queen ready to swoop into h7 to give check. And the last factor in Domino's mate is ensuring that there's a rook or some other piece on f8 that prevents the king from going this way. Therefore, in this position, the correct move for white to play is queen h7 checkmate. This is Domino's mate. Now in this position, it's white to move. And white also is looking for a checkmate here because he is also down a lot of material. He's down a whole rook. And black is threatening checkmate in one, which looks pretty unstoppable. So in this position, white is relying on uh, Domino's mate here because he has a pawn on g6, and the king looks pretty weak. In fact, the king is only uh, limited to these squares if the rook wasn't there. So how do we do this? Well, we first play rook to h8 check. It seems to be losing a rook for free, though. After king takes h8, we don't have checkmate yet, and uh, we just gave up a rook for free. But the whole point of this move was to clear up the h file for the queen. So now we can play the move queen to h1, winning a tempo. We're attacking the king, so that's a check. We win a tempo and get our queen onto h1. After this repositioning and the king goes back, then we can use our queen to go to h7 and give checkmate. So really what we did was we used our rook to clear out the h1 square for the queen and draw the king onto h8. After drawing the king onto h8 in this position, we could bring our queen over to h1 here, which eventually leads to checkmate on h7. In this position, it's black to move, and we see that black already has his pawn on uh, g3 in place. So in this position, uh, black should play the move queen to e2 check. After queen to e2 check, um, it doesn't really matter what white will play. White can either go uh, king g1, and he'll get mated on h2, like this, or after rook f2, this doesn't help anything. He'll still get mated on h2. The point of this was to show that black doesn't need to use the uh, h file to come in. The person giving mate with Domino's mate can also use the second rank, especially if the pawn's are already on g3, use the exposed second rank to come in and give checkmate on h2. It doesn't matter how the Domino mate happens, as long as the pawn is on the, th the third or sixth rank and you use a queen on the h2 or h7 square, then that's called Domino's mate.